Hey viewers, my name is Roy, I'm a UI designer and in today's video you will learn how to create four trendy CSS gradient backgrounds. So as a very quick demo, I've created these in Figma. The first one is a very simple circle shape and it's got a background on there and all it does it just has some blurs which is a filter layer blur of 192 pixels the next version i'm actually done it a bit different where i'm using a radial gradient so i'm starting from my face all the way to top left and it goes transparent and we have a layer blur again and then for this one it's the same i'm going from full color from my face all the way out just as an experiment so that's a radial gradient the third one i've changed it a bit where i'm using a angular gradient so i think this is something quite different so I'm, again i'm going out from my face and again this one here i'm going ooh, i'm also going from my face to the outside so that is using an angular gradient now the final one which i think is pretty sweet and i think i might use this one is where I've introduced a third circle which is purple and this one I put a color burn on the layer so I think this would be interesting to use so I've got VS code running I have the live preview in the background what I'm going to do is go back to index so starting from index straight away I'm going to delete the old background image so let me just delete that now it's just nice and clean and even this works right but if you want to be memorable then maybe having something a bit more on trend might work so again back to vs code i'm going to go in the header tag and i'm going to create a div with shapes and we're going to create some classes that we then need to put in our css so div dot bg hyphen shape dot bg hyphen primary dot opacity hyphen 50 and then dot bg blur and then hit enter now i put shape to ease and if i go at the end of this line if i do shift o and down that copied the whole line that's great i don't have to select the whole thing and here i'm going to put teal and save the nice thing about creating utility classes is that you can keep reusing them. And within those, those two divs, I'm going to create a new one, which is going to have absolute positioning with an inset of hyphen zero. And we are going to also have flex and justify center because this will bring the circles in the middle. And then hit enter. And then I'm going to wrap that around the two circles. Okay. And then we're going to have some positioning on here, which you can play around with. So I'm going to say top minus 282 pixels. And this is going to bring it right up here. And this is something you can play around with, which is why I put it in the style tag or in the style property or attribute. So, if we quickly go back into styles, okay, so I'm going to bring in a color for teal. If we go back to Figma, we can see in our color styles, I need to get this one, just copy that over, and we just then paste that in. We need to get the hash in there. Okay, so we go right to the end. So I'm going to create the shapes. So BG shape, we want it to be a width of 520 pixels and also the height is also going to be 520 pixels we need a border radius to be border radius to be 999 pixels this is going to give it a round circle and we also need to create bg blur oh um in there oh I'm typing in those wrong. We're going to have filter and then blur 192 pixels. We're also going to have dot opacity of 50 and that is opacity 
0.5. Okay, great. So I've done all of those. And then the last two is BG primary. And that is background color of VAR primary. Let me just bring that up. And here again, oh, so we need BG teal background color of VAR and then teal. Save that. Okay. So if we bring up the brave, we can see straight away we got our two very subtle gradient backgrounds, but we need to have a Z index in there of minus one. So it would go behind. So again, we we've, we've kept this very, very subtle and we can play around with the blur because the blur is quite powerful in the browser for some reason. So if I say 80 pixels, that is a lot better. So we can also bring these in a bit more. So if I say left, or sorry, if I say uh, margin, margin right five rems, that brings the orange in a bit more. If I then say margin left five rems, that will now bring in the teal a bit more. So let's say eight rems. Let's say eight on either one. So yeah, it's brought it in a bit more. So that is one version done. Now the next version we're going to create is the radial one. So I'm just going to actually select all of that. I'm going to do shift alt down. And I'm just going to hide that one just as reference. So with this one, we are then going to copy the actual code. So here I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to go to inspect and just copy the whole background property there. And if I go back to style and this is for teal. So right after this one, I'll paste that. And this one here again, I'll just copy that and then go here and then paste that after primary and save. Now let's have a look in brave. You can see there it's got that really different effect and I think that's pretty nice. So the next version is we are now going to use angular versions. So again, I'm just going to copy, which is using the conic gradient, just to see how this looks. And we go in here because I think it's really nice to experiment with these. Uh, go back. Oh, I didn't copy the B. And then if we look in Brave, we can see this is it's just a different effect altogether. And then we have the final version, which is going to introduce a third circle. And I think this is really nice. I think I'm going to go with this one. So this one is slightly different in that the purple one, we've actually got a color burn blend on the layer. So you can see in the design, I've got color burn. So I'm going to copy this one, or actually copy the mix blood blend mode. And then I'm going to just paste that in. I'm going to say BG purple, open brackets, and then I'm going to bring that inside and then save. So if I go back to index, I'm going to say, I'm going to go to the end there, shift alt, and I'm going to say purple and then save. If we go back to the brave, you can see the purple is right over there. Now, I don't know if you can see that, that weird um, banding that's going on. So that's quite interesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring that in the middle. So I'm just going to say position absolute. And now that has brought that in the middle. And if you can see the effect on the colors, it's just really, really nice. If I get rid of the blend mode, just to see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't blend in those colors. So again, I'll bring that back and you can just see that really nice uh, color. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did find it useful, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.